Unique language now in Grampian, with another chance to see the second of two programmes recorded during the Gordon and District Doric Festival in Rutsarun, Benihi. If Donick is going to survive, it's going to have to be modern as well as old. And there's enough written Doric, right from William Alexander, further back, Charles Murray, George MacDonald, who wrote in Doric, or Doric, parts of their books are in Doric. And we've got the late Doric to modern times. And in the writing competition, we had a tremendous spread of a humor, a serious stories, plays, etc. Now, there is a thing about humour in the North East here. We've got quite a dry, wicked humour even at times. And humour, of course, comes from tragedy. And all of us like a laugh. We laugh off what we're afraid of. We laugh off what we don't understand. So a lot of the humour which has survived in Doric it comes from the hard way of life and the tragedies that occurred up here. I was very pleased that young people owned an excellent short story. In fact, it was the first piece submitted to me. It arrived at my home. And it was by a small, a young girl from Huntley, Lynn McRitchie, whom the judges equally thought was an excellent story and awarded the first prize in the short story. Geordie assured that he would take the greatest care of the dumpling, wished her a happy new year, and set off back to pick up his bike. Of course, he was feeling a bit thirsty again, and Fitz made hidden a wish to lads in the bar a happy new year, so he thought he'd better look in for five minutes. Well, a thing led to another. And the next Geordie Kent, it was closing time. He picked up the dumpling, bought a bottle of fusky, and set off for home, completely forgetting his bike was up a close. A mile or two out the road, he noticed a licht on at Willie Thompson's, so he thought he'd better look in by. The same happened at Sandy Grant's house, and by the time he left there, he didn't again far he was. He landed home at around three o'clock in the morning, and as he crawled into his bed, Mary said, it took a long time to get the dumpling. Fit dumpling, Geordie said. You didn't mean to say you hadn't got it. The hens are plucked in the broth, study. I was depending on that dumpling. You're going straight back to Huntley for it in the morning. After he'd milked the coo and fed the starks, Geordie took off to the trace's steps, walking, of course, he'd no bike. By the time he got to Sandy Grant's house, they were sitting at their dinner. Geordie said, That's a recht fine looking dumpling. Aye, said Sandy, but then I can far it, can't be? But somebody left it here last night. Wasn't that right good of them?
And then Jesus began to be test. The farmer comes and he shoves his seed. And then he gets on with the business of working. He gangs and does other things and he rises in the morning and he beds at night. And the seed grows out of the empire and only muckle heat tilt. It begins to move and the seed he bursts open and the wee green pops up a bee in the ground. And it grows and it grows till the ears are corner there and the hair's time comes. The poor of God is working there and at the ground in the seed. And hairst is God's gift. We've been a grand hearse this year and grand weather together then. But we all have hearse and we're in life's tea. Families that grow and we have been spending our days feeding them and providing for them and thinking little about exactly what we are doing. But they're growing and they grow and another generation comes and we find ourselves prudely paired to our family. And so, let's mind that God's in our personal hearts. The hearts that come for our day by day dark. They are the ordinary jobbies that have to be done, and all the things that we think of at the time is half a drink and dreary but God's in them, and the end is our hearst and our treasure. And the wee minities in the day that we spend lifting up our hearts to him, and the whileys that we spend giving hurt to other folk, and the times that we forget ourselves and mine and others, there are the coins that mark up our treasure. The day day we'll be glad that no moth nor dust can corrupt when we carry it home. second thoughts occasionally. So at Nationwide, when you open a savings account that ties your money up, you get 14 days to change your mind. You may now be seated. Money. Dotty. And so does everyone else. Bye. Building trust with Nationwide, the building society. So you want a rent outbreak? Yeah, good film, nice length, good colour, good quality, good production. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. I haven't got it. Well, you better go to Blockbuster Video. We stock more copies of the big films than anyone. Does your video shop stock as many copies? No. Blockbuster. The autumn sale is now on at Sterling, Tillicutri, Aberdeen and Dundee. If you wear bifocal or Varilux lenses, you'll know how much a free extra pair of specs is worth. Now, when you buy your specs from Duncan and Todd and Frame Up, you'll get an extra pair of specs with lenses to the same prescription, absolutely free. Get your free extra pair of specs at Duncan and Todd and Frame Up now. You could be a millionaire with Littlewoods, and new Quick Picks is the easy way to do the pools. Just mark 10 X's for one pound, then life could be exhilarating and exclusive. Play Littlewoods Pools and you could be extremely rich. At Jonathan Brooks Discount Club Warehouses save up to £60 in a regatta-style three-in-one jacket for only £29.99. At Jonathan Brooks, the only difference is the price. Hello, I'm Doug. I started working at Hot Point two weeks before they put the first man on the moon. And what I do is test washing machines. I take them to Washing Machine Helm. 
and back. There's over six million hot points around the country, and that's a lot of people doing a lot of washing. And if I thought those machines weren't up to scratch, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. So I test them till I'm sure. I spend a lot of time with these machines, checking every component as good as it can be, and that's how I see the powder like another bit of the machine. I seriously rate new generation person. I can't make people use it. I can just tell them what I think. Last year, we dealt with over half a million motor claims worldwide. Sun Alliance. Together, we make some alliance. Spring in Kremar is an open yet with a hech rig stern and block, while the creepy crawly tractor clums through the blue cuts at its back. The melting meer is running wheat a hair in an airman coat, and loch nagar through the pearl and sleet as the glumps go a winter stoat. The puddock's eggs are preen prick sma and deed wood dries the bream, while the corby's crab at the peat reet wa is the toad with the sleek it in. The kennel twin is a coarse carlin with a long hair flaming reed, and the race and rick that's fallen thick is a main o'er elfin steed. Spring and cremars, na sun and rain, it's the sweet and the wood wasps bike, and there's aye a sting in an o'er east spring, well cut with its teeth there to fight. As I get out this summer's night, a hey, a wee bit stroll, Never thinking o' oh, the years gone by, oh, I wonder by the toll. I hidden again far by the toll when Corby's burn I pass. And what do you think the time it there but a bonny wee trumpin' lass? Oh, far ye gone, give me your hand, oh, fui ye dean, says I. Hide up your head, my bonny wee lass, and then I look so shy. Far ye bide, far ye stay, come tell to me your name. Do you think your father be angry, Nugan, I were to see ye him? She said that she was working down in the melting fields, tromping banks o' yarn and unlike the tonk a wheel. She said she had ten bob a week and was nae on foot time. Says, oh, my last foot meters that when you will soon be mine. Oh, far ye gone, give me your hand, for ye dean, says I. 
Hide up your head, my bonny wee lass, and then I look so shy. For do you bide, for do you stay, come tell to me your name. Do you think your feather be angry, no, and I were to see ye him? But know that we are married, we're as happy as can be. Twa little lasses by our side, a loony on our knee. I often stroll down by the toe when I think the days can pass. But as long as I live, I'll ne'er forget my bonny wee trumpet lass. Oh, far ye gone, give me your hand, for ye dean, says I. Hide up your head, my bonny wee lass, and then I look so shy. Far do you bide, far do you stay, come tell to me your name. Do you think your feather be angry no if I were to see him? And now I'm going to do, well, she's called A Letter for a Distressed Auntie by Sheena Blackhall. Dear brother, just a note to say, he's settled doing real fine. For boys are two or three thingies, he's a most inquiring mind. He's fickered with the nobbies till the tractor when I start. And he tint the monthly milk yield, then we took him to the mart. The ball is fair for fochen, since he lot the beastie free. It's their fully fifty heifers for the Charlie pedigree. <laughs> ne counting nineteen Herefords, it was no meant to cover. Fourteen Frisians, sixteen Ayrshires, twenty Guernseys, on were mither. <laughs> You've hurt your finger, peer wee man. Your pinky, dearie me. And just you had a tat one, till I get my specs and see. My, there it is, and there's the scarf. Who didn't greet me, mare? See there, my needle's got no toot. I'm sure that was me, sir. And new to mark it, hail the morn, put on a wee bit saw, and tie a bonny hunky in it. Er now, run away. Your fingers say to na, you rogue, you're only letting on. Real, real then, see me, there you are, and up the same as John. <laughs> Proceed at the fireside. Proceed at the fireside, supping up rose. Do come a cinder and burn Pussy's nose. Oh, cried Pussy, that's na fair. It's head said the cinder, you should not have been there. For the best looking blue man, the gear not raised the bra, got the medley deserted, the floor among the bar. The brewer gets brisk and stout and younger every day that becomes to the blue and march and hog money. Wish I had parching come on for a start, but I can leave up for the woman short and the air No, 
the prizes, read the blue and march like nothing else you can. With speeches on good bleach off at Newcomb till an end, the whiskey on the bar and flare, it like all what a run. It was little than the bullies, be all hillies, be ripon. We both the ball had sung and jest, the fun was fast and furious. If you've never been out of blue and march and feel a bit of curious, just mind the date. Then never let be sure to win your way to the tradesman's blue and march and hope money. Who wish I had bugged Jean to walk for a star, but up the need not to put him on with joy at the end of the day. But I'm not going to say, but the tradesman's blue and march and hope money. Now, ladies and gents, um, I'm about to perform. A poem, uh, a very well known poem that was written by J.C. Mill. It's called O oh for Friday Nacht. O oh for Friday Nacht, Friday Hame and Humming. O oh for Friday Nacht, Friday's long o' coming. No, let's hate geography. Fit the tune for jute. Sit at peace, Jemima. Kirsty, draw your snoot. Hey there, woolly wobster. Stop poking in your breast. Fit a horn a goalach, goid be here, fit neist. Far's the granite city, wheel Georgina Brown. Glasgow, hodge your weast quine, Glasgow's just a tune. Bucky, hoots and havers, the broch, preserve us all. Hey there, Georgie Gummy, pit that prina wa. Doric is, is what we were born and brought up with. It's, um, it's a wonderful language. Um, the, the, the words are so rich in meaning, and, and there's no other words like it. If you try and, and put an English word to the, the same meaning as various Doric, you'll have a hard time trying to get in as good as that. It just comes out without thinking, to be quite honest. I mean, I've always spoken it, and I'll be at home when he speaks it, and I really never think about it. <laughs> it just comes naturally. It makes you proud to be able to speak the Doric, because it's part of our culture, of our heritage, and of our history, and it must be preserved. <laughs> 